I'm Norm Poltonson, the publisher of the Business Journal. I'm dressed down today in my flannels, so I think I have to visit the doctor. He's not a real doctor. He's actually a U.S. Senator, and his name is Max Baucus, but he thinks he's a gastroenterologist. His patients this time happen to be the business community. Now, you're going to say to me, wait a minute, Max, as already you said, he's not running for election again, or re-election. And also, the president is going to send him off to China as our ambassador. And that's all true. But before Max goes, he's been flying balloons, hot air balloons, in Washington to see what the reaction would be to really changing the tax code. Now, Max has some good intentions. He does want to lower the taxation rate. And he's trying to simplify it, which frankly scares the hell out of me every time I hear a politician say he wants to simplify something. But aside from that, what Max is proposing is something euphemistically called a retroactive taxation. Don't you love that term? Basically, what Max is proposing, and keep in mind now, he is the uh, chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. So he's the guy who's rolling out some very important tax legislation. First thing he came up with is the term deemed repatriation. That's Washington speak for what really means uh, the way we, we handle our current taxation system. If you're an overseas operation, you have earnings in foreign countries. Ours is practically the only system in the world, or maybe the only system in the world, whereby you are taxed not only domestically, but you're taxed also on your foreign earnings, even though the foreign country has taxed you. So if you keep your money overseas, and you don't repatriate it, then you get a credit. So you're not paying tax until you actually bring it back to the states. Well, Max has come up with this word that says, we're gonna just pretend you repatriated it, and therefore we're gonna tax you 20%. Don't you love it? So Max is putting on his rubber gloves, since that's what all gastroenterologists do. And he's also suggested that we change the depreciation schedules that you are now enjoying, business people. That simply means that he's going to lengthen your depreciation schedule, and that just puts more money in Washington's pocket and less money in your pocket. Max has also proposed that we get rid of LIFO. Now, LIFO sounds like a medical term. It really isn't. In fact, LIFO's been around since, <clears throat> you'll forgive me, I was born. That's 1938. And LIFO simply says, for inventory purposes, the last item in is the first item out, and that's how you'll expense it. Remember, as a business entity, when you buy an item, it goes in inventory, you can't claim any expenses against that until you actually sell it. So obviously, last in, first out is a more accurate way of dealing with inflationary pressures than would be FIFO, which is first in, first out. So Max has simply said, Okay, no more LIFO. And the difference between LIFO and FIFO is what you owe in taxes. But Max is such a good guy. He said, look, I'll give you eight years to pay the tax on that. And by the way, on the depreciation schedules, I'm also a good guy. I'm going to give you eight years to pay that as well. Well, we have winners and losers. The winner is the IRS. If this thing goes through, they'll collect a lot of money from corporations. And who are the losers? Well, in this case, it's the patients, it's the business community who will end up sending more money to Washington and investing less money because they don't have the money. And also what it does is add to the uncertainty, which has already made business sit on the sidelines with trillions of dollars of cash they would normally invest. You could say also it's, it's unfair, but why go there since Washington doesn't understand that term? So all I can say is stay tuned. And if Max gets his way, I hope he at least gives us a sedative before he begins the procedure. I'm Norm Poltenson. Thanks so much for listening.